What's up, Block Fam? Today's episode, we are doing a trike conversion on this Harley Davidson Ultra. Is that what this is? Ultra, right? It is, but Ultra. it's a bit somber. It's a bit of a, a sad story behind this one. We don't normally do trike conversions. I mean, it's gonna be a very, very involved build, but for this one, we have made an exception because this motorcycle belonged to Aaron Westrix dad who unfortunately we lost i would say during covid but complications because of covid for those of you that don't know uh aaron has been on the channel quite a bit you guys know captain anna so aaron is captain anna's husband and this motorcycle was aaron's dad's motorcycle now aaron's mom kelly didn't want to sell her husband's motorcycle which is totally understandable <laughs> i'm getting choked up bro so not enough so, like I said, we don't normally do track conversions, but this is a special case because it hits really close to home for us. Obviously, Anna is responsible for like so much of us being able to like set up here. And Aaron, man, they've been family to me. So uh, it definitely hits, hits close to home. So <sighs> trike conversion it is. You know, they can keep the bike in the family. Kelly isn't confident on just two wheels, especially with a bike of this size. So we are doing a uh, trike conversion, which is where Chris comes in. Okay. <laughs> I'm good, you need dude. A tissue? I do, kind of. <laughs> There's a red one right there. Um, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna put on a Frankenstein tri kit for him. Uh, basically, we're gonna rake the front end a little bit. Um, I believe the tubes, well, the spaces are right there, so they're maybe three inch over, two and a half. I can't tell. I'd have to measure them. Um, and then we're gonna install this nice uh, nice tri kit on the end here. So most of this bike will will remain. Stock, the majority, sheet metal and all. Swing arm, suspension, belt, uh, obviously drive line changes. And then it'll get some pretty cool little fenders sticking out here that we're getting uh, pink matched right now. Those are actually sitting over there and they're just a gray primer box of color, so. So we do have the uh, paint, paint code for this. It's some kind of galaxy color. So we're gonna talk to a paint shop about paint matching that. As you guys will notice, there is a lot of um, accoutrement for like military. So Aaron's dad was a Marine. Aaron was also a Marine. So it's a veteran's motorcycle. So we've got Devil Dog on the front. We did actually recently work on a trike who was Aaron's dad's friend. Uh, we did a stage two to it. So Semper Fi on one side, Devil Dog on the other. Beirut 241, lots of pins. So to the uh, late Mr. Westrick, thank you for your service, man. Really appreciate you. So this is all the componentry included. Ends up doing away with the center wheel, right? And we go to this huge axle. This thing is, I mean, that is <laughs> quality. It's a solid piece. So you basically have uh, two 1560 15s on the rear, new axle, subframe, a couple of what, covers for exhaust or extensions this, for exhaust. This, yeah, these are exhaust extensions. This is actually more for uh, aesthetics that's just the fender support and it, it probably does offer a little bit of structural rigidity but um those two handles i believe here once mounted up it'll be almost be like a grab handle okay and then i guess just to show you guys the uh the rear fender that are primed and pretty much ready to go to paint what we're doing right now before we get them to paint is we're making sure that the fitment is correct so that is these here so the last time i put one together was 2010. So it's been a while since Chris has put one of these together. Uh, it's from a company called Frankenstein Trikes. That's pretty much what the goal of this Ultra is. A lot of meaning behind it. I've never seen it done before. So hopefully it's uh, educational for you guys. Anything else you want to throw in before we start the dismantling process? Can I throw in the towel now? <laughs> it's like, all you've done is lay out the parts. I know, I'm tired, I'm sweating. It's like, oh, throwing in the towel. Yep. Yeah. All right, no towel. Right back at you. <laughs> All right, let's. Um, I say get our hands dirty, but it's your hands dirty, so. And you definitely will need to help because I can't pick this <laughs> up and put it in. Justin, get over here. Nope, he ain't strong enough. Look at that little frame. <laughs> <laughs> we heard him and I already discussed this. Two of us is yeah, one of you. Pull your sleeves up real quick. So, why? Well, just we gotta do the muscle thing. You gotta do. Your All right, now let's see the muscles, bro. Oh. Dang! Dang, chisel, bro! Oh, let's go! <laughs> Wow. I don't know. I mean, let's, let's Where's see. Where's yours? Oh, I don't have any. I got nothing. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the same. Mine just hangs down. It's, uh, <laughs> it's flaccid. I'm like, we're talking about uh, needing help picking up the 
rear axle. Jeez. Sheesh. I ain't gonna get Yeah, it like, up. it's it's enough. It's you heavy. could probably have a, a healthy little workout just deadlifting that a few times. You'd, you'd be like, I'm done. Well, let's see how I much probably would be too, to be honest with you. Let's see how many we could do. How about no? <laughs> be sore tomorrow. I'll do one. <laughs> 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 have to hit up Frankenstein and be like, there's damage to the rear axle. Uh, sorry. Just go curl that one on what? camera. Just curl the swing arm. You. You got the biggest arms. That's how I feel. Yeah. That's heavy that enough, huh? Easy. That's a good burn. That's, no, that's actually rather 1,002. Try that one. 1,003. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you heard. It's over 1,000. <laughs> Here you go, Justin. Oh, dang. Justin's like, ooh. <laughs> That's pretty heavy. Oh, you gotta see the run now. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's go. Here's your best farmer stand. Woo. Is that what's going on around here? All right, Chris. Let's go. I'm not turned on being a part of it's it. It's all you, bro. Axel, bro. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I'll pick it up with one hand, but that's it. <laughs> He's like, I'm only picking it up once. That's to put on the so motorcycle. Heavy, dude. <laughs> go pick it up. I'll move the wheel so you can, like, get, get your little space here. Let's get it done. All right. All right, let's get it. Come on, just like Evo and all that stuff. Oh, let's stuff. see. Oh, let's I thought you were about to mount up. Oh, no, no, I was waiting for you. I carried it over. I remember bro. trying to carry this box and being like, damn. It's not that bad. It just it's heavy enough. Good luck throwing that in, right? Woo! Let's go. <laughs> get her. All right, good form, sir. Lifting with the legs. See that? I'm not trying to get injured on the job. Welcome to the Blockhead Gym. <laughs> the right arm's worn out. Oh, with the American flag in the background? <laughs> Woo! Woo! Three! Why are we doing that? <laughs> <laughs> They've left things on a part. We could just unbolt slide that end off, put it in from this side, put the belt on and then bolt everything together. Like, I'm talking to myself probably, but the reality is they've saved some time. They've right. made it easier, which is nice. It's good. Um, I don't even have to with the inner or outer primary. We don't even have to take that off. So, a right. little time saver there. We're gonna pull this out. We're gonna get the swing arm out of the way, throw it on the side. Then we're gonna put the new one up in here. Well, we're gonna follow the directions because they got a couple of Delron spacers and whatnot that need to go in. But we're gonna put everything back together and, um, yeah, we'll start assembly. Coming along, those axles, man, they thicky boys. So far, so good. Good. Just as you just experienced, though, sometimes you need four hands, four arms. It's like, yeah, it's a bit much to do by yourself. Basically, just had to raise the swing arm while pushing the axle to line up the bolts here and here. Which got it all lined you up. Could though. Let them know that was a bit tricky. Yeah, a little bit. It's funny because you're like trying to pull this up, but also pull it back. Yeah, you'd, the you'd almost the need to be an orangutan to hold the space <laughs> with your toes yeah. while pushing. And Definitely not a one-person job. No. You need multiple hands. It's looking good, though. Yeah. Coming along. Hell yeah. guys the trike conversion on the devil dog is complete so look at that paint right oh man so yeah we're gonna comment on that here in a second so i can't remember exactly what part we stopped filming i know we recorded a lot of it but we wanted to basically show you guys the completed build and then also get Kelly's reaction of what the bike looks like. So Chris and I are gonna go over it real quick. We're gonna get his thoughts on the Frankenstein conversion kit. And then we're gonna cover it up in this tarp 
so we can do a reveal. Whenever we were installing this thing, one of the things that I did notice is just the overall beefiness of it. I did ride it through the parking lot and back, felt pretty good. The quality of the construction of the kit, awesome. Really, really good. This is what's in there. We've got a Dana differential, four nine inch street and strip axle, a five off one and a half. The rest is basic stuff, but yeah, the four piston caliper, that's a hog halters caliper, so. I mean, it's got, it's got some good, some really good parts in it. Here's um, an explosion view if anybody wants to see. It's a legit set. It's, it's yeah. solid. Yeah, I mean, for the price, better be. So it wasn't that the kit was like, what, six or seven uh, thousand? 7,900. Yeah, yeah, so almost eight thousand yeah. dollars. So not on the cheap end, but quality, like I was saying, I think awesome, top tier. It's so it's, it's really gonna, the price is up to your pocketbook, really. Right. Because the California Sidecar Company makes some really nice tri conversion kits, but they can run as much, well, they can continue to go up, but they're in the 20 range, 20 ish, 25. So, you know, this is less than 10 for the kit and, and then installation of paint. You know. Right, right. So, this, this is definitely a little bit more economical. I will give it one knock, though. I have to do this. I was I just going to ask it, yeah. So we bought this kit, and this motorcycle came from the factory with ABS. So we called them to say, hey, how are we handling this? And their response was, well, everybody just rides around with the ABS light. Which seems kind of like a cop out. It does. Yeah, there should be a way of, you know, bypassing it, disabling it, which I think there is. We looked up some stuff, but the manufacturer, I think, should know what your options are, because just riding around with an ABS light is kind of not, Obviously the bike's gonna stop. Yeah. We're not worried about that. Yeah. But but the light itself is annoying and to spend as much as they're gonna spend double digits, uh that that's kind of annoying. Yeah. And I and I don't believe that it's all that difficult for them to figure out how to bypass that or create enough ohms in the system to at least kill the yeah. the light. Honestly so it's, it's probably just thing. unplug one thing and then plug in like an ohms resistor. Something. Yeah. Yeah. And I realize it's not quite that simple, but it, it can be right. that simple. So. On note of the paint, so I think the last time we guys showed y'all the fenders, they were they're bare. They basically come ready to paint. And so if you can the paint is f***ing awesome. Even like the tour pack, like that match, that's perfect. Yeah. Like the clear coat on this is amazing. So we went with this painter that Chris has known for a while named Tim? Ted. Ted. What did you say? He uses like a gel coat as a clear coat or something? Or is it some kind of different clear coat I, process? I it does feel different. I don't different. know and I don't want to be misquoted, but his clear is quality clear. Yeah, it, I mean, it definitely feels different based on other painters. in the camera, I don't think. No. But the depth of this clear versus the factory clear. He definitely nailed the OEM look. I think he said, he had to uh, go back and forth like two or the three times and he freaking nailed it. So I think it came out perfect. You would think it came from the factory, honestly. And uh, yeah, he did a really, really good job. All right, so I guess let's get this thing undercover and we'll get her reaction of it. Anything else you want to throw in about the kit? The, the whole process of doing a trike conversion? Um, it's just work to me. Is this, this a service you want to offer? Not really. No. <laughs> I mean, obviously I'll put the trike together, especially for somebody that needs it or finds themselves in a position where they can no longer hold their bike up. Yeah, of course. But is this my favorite thing to do? No. <laughs> we need a trike lift. <laughs> yeah. The wife and Aaron and Anna are going to be coming, checking out the bike, picking it up, and we want to throw it under cover just so we can kind of do an unveil, get her thoughts, reactions to it. Because, I mean, essentially it's... It feels like a new bike, you know, no longer two wheels, so. Well, it was, it is, from what the story I understand, and I have not spoken to her yet, so I, I don't know this 100%, but the way it was expressed to me through Anna and, and through Justin was that, you know, this was her husband's motorcycle, and she doesn't want to get rid of it, but she can't hold it up on her own, so now this is going to hold it up for her. Yeah. So she can still ride with this memory. She can, you know. Yeah. 
I love it. That's important. That means a lot to me. For sure. Yeah, man, it's, you know, really sentimental, awesome story. And I'm glad that we were able to do this for her. I hope she loves it. I'm sure she will. She's going to be able to continue to ride her husband's bike, keep her husband's bike. You know, Anna and Aaron and her are going to be able to keep it in the family, which I just absolutely love. So go ahead, cover it up, and we'll wait for them to get here here in a little bit. And we'll let Chris pull back the curtain. All right, guys, the time is here. Aaron and his mom are here. We're going to open up the door. Show them this green thing. So this is the shop. Welcome to the Blockhead Garage. This is the bike. What do you think? Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. That's good. <laughs> Who wants to pull the curtain back? Aaron? I'll let Aaron do it. So, uh, trike conversion. Yeah, I know. You stoked to see it? I am. I'm very stoked. Although I've seen pictures, so. You should be able to just pull it off, yeah. Maybe gently. This is the right bike, dude. <laughs> Aww. Redo. absolutely love that you guys decided to keep it and to uh, do a tri conversion to keep it in the family and for for you to ride it I think I think he would have loved that oh I know he would have yeah I know yeah because he always wanted me to get my license you know and to, and to ride I was always comfortable on the back on the back yeah looking at the scenery you know <laughs> Well, you can still look at the scenery oh, just yeah. from just from the bars. Yeah. Just don't take your eyes off the road don't for too have to long. Don't worry about. The road. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all the other drivers. Yeah. Yep. Well, I think it turned out awesome, and thank you for bringing it to us. Really appreciate it, and for trusting us with it. I wouldn't trust anybody else. And well, we appreciate that. Good job, Chris. Good job. Thank you. How's it feel being on the back? Um, I'd say weird, but I've actually spent some time back here with my dad. Really? Yeah. Yeah. How's it feel uh, being back on your dad's bike, but trike? conversion for your mom that is kind of weird but it turned out great man you guys did a hell of a job props to chris yeah dude it looks fantastic and i know how much the paint match was like that's a big turn and it looks it's beautiful so what was the story of you riding back there with your dad just like when, when he was just before i knew how to ride oh cool yeah so you you kind of got your exposure and learned to ride because of this bike yeah i guess you could say so damn it's pretty big dude Come full circle, huh? Right? Wow. It's like a circle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just did a triangle. <laughs> there you guys have it. That's the trike conversion on Aaron's dad's Harley. Like I said, absolutely love the story behind it. Uh, super glad that you guys kept it and uh, that you convinced her to trike conversion it, even though you said you didn't convince her to trike conversion it. Yeah, well, I mean, she said she wasn't getting rid of it. Yeah. So I was like, well, there's only one other way you're going to ride it. And uh, I'm. It's not gonna sit there and collect dust. I'm not gonna allow that to happen. That's the worst thing for a bike. Yep. So let it set. So yep. now this way she can ride it comfortably and hold on to those memories. Oh yeah. Well, you got some training to do. <laughs> yeah, <yep>. <laughs> so <laughs> she's, she... Uh, she's, she's been riding Ron's trike a little bit. Okay. Um, so she uh, understands the gist of it. Sweet. Yeah. I think it's super cool that she learned on the Grom too a little bit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, well, if you guys have any questions on any of this stuff, drop them down in the comments below. If you guys uh, enjoyed this episode, do us a favor, hit the like button, let YouTube know that we're doing a good job. Thank you again. Hey, thank you. Appreciate you, man. If you guys aren't subscribed, you want to continue to see motorcycle content, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. Also, so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. Till next time, ride safe, stay vigilant. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.